Hello everyone, I am back with another model which is Parking.exe financial model. Currently we are on the table of contents which includes input sheet, revenue analysis, startup summary, monthly PNL, yearly PNL, cash flow statement, balance sheet, diagnostic tools, break unit analysis, project evaluation, dashboard and sensitivity analysis. So here we have linked all the sheets with their relevant sheets just like here we have a linked input sheet with the input sheet so if i'll click on the input sheet input sheet will be open so here we are on the input sheet what basically what does an input sheet include it includes all the basic information which is required for the business just like assumptions and uh, monthly employment payroll revenue assumptions and a capital expenditure, operating expenses, and every other little thing which is required for the business. Moving forward to the revenue analysis. Revenue analysis basically includes a uh, sales projection. In sales projection, uh, basically uh, we had the revenue assumptions in the input sheet. Here, here we have calculated the profit, uh, the revenue uh, through uh, that table. So uh, uh, we have the revenue for the parkings we are offering and the cost of goods sold we have calculated uh, in the revenue sheet moving forward to the depreciation table uh, depreciation table basically tells you how much an asset is depreciating over the time obviously if you are using an asset it will be depreciated over the time loan schedule basically tells you how much prepayment you need to do every month uh, in uh, loan schedule, we have loan amount, interest expense, principal amount and remaining balance for the loans we are offering. Uh, we are taking a loan 1, loan 2 and loan 3. Startup summary basically includes total funding and total expenses. Moreover, it tells you how much investment you are going to require for your business. And uh, furthermore, the cost is divided into two parts. One is variable cost and other is fixed cost. Monthly PNL basically includes uh, revenue, cost of goods sold, gross profit, operating expenses, uh, EBITDA, net income before taxes, after taxes on the monthly basis. In yearly PNL, we have uh, a revenue, cost of goods sold, gross profit, operating expenses, EBITDA, net income before taxes, after taxes on the yearly basis. Cash flow statement basically includes net cash flow by operating activities, investing activities and financing activities. Moreover, uh, it, it tells you whether cash is generated from the uh, uh, operating activities, investing activities or financing activities. Furthermore, uh, it tells you the inflow and outflow of the cash which is very important for the business. Balance sheet basically includes total assets and total liability. In total assets, we have current assets and fixed assets. And in total liability, we have non-current liability, current liability, and capital investment. Moreover, balance sheet tells you the current stability of the company. Break-even analysis basically tells you the point at which you have earned enough to cover up all of your costs. Here we have total visitors and we have calculated the average revenue per visitors on the basis of total visitors and we have break-even visitors. Project evaluation basically uh, tells you the NPV of the company, value of the company, where the company is standing. Sensitivity analysis basically includes three scenarios, uh, actual, decreased and increased. And we calculate the revenue, EBITDA, FCFF on the, uh, uh, based on the uh, uh, actual percentage, decreased percentage and increased percentage. KPIs and ratios basically helps you in your calculation. Diagnostic tool basically uh, tells you if whether your uh, gross margin is reasonable or not, whether your expenses are too low or too high, whether your business is showing profit or not. Dashboard basically is the visual representation of your business which helps you understand your business uh, in better way. That's it. Uh, I'm ending it here. Thank you for watching.